The Revelation, Chapter 1. The Revelation of God, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of God, and of all things he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Yowshak, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us. This is the book of Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise unto and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I shall call a dash up on us unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his young brothers and peace and blessing. Salutation to the hopeful they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Push him, get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopeful they, the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And what I want to get into this morning is how the path. Of salvation has been illuminated okay through this word okay because now we fully understand you know what pleasing to our power you know before we came into this ministry we was oblivious all right to the righteousness of the scriptures you know the christianity never went into the actual application of the scriptures okay they never went into the true wisdom of the scriptures Okay, it was pretty much just a prop, you know, within a, a song and dance <laughs> performance, all right, by the pastor, man. Okay, but now the the path of salvation has been illuminated through these precepts. Okay, um, I jump to verse five, all right, and it says, "Be of good cheer, my people." Baruch four and five. Be of good cheer, my people. All right, so I jump verse four. This is Baruch 4 and 4. It says, O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Okay? We can see it now. All right? Because, like I say, if you're in a dark room, okay, and you can't see what's in front of you, but there's a light that comes on now, okay? You have clarity. Okay, now you can see. Now things are made known unto you. Everything that's in the room is made known unto you. All right? And this truth is the light of the world, which everything, it has shined light on everything in the world. Now we understand these things. We understand these heathen nations. We understand Amalek, okay, of, the others, of, of Esau, okay, these bankers. And you will understand this system, the beast, okay? We understand what this devil is trying to do. Okay, and we know how we should react to what this devil is doing through these precepts. Okay, that's why when you go here, let's get this word illuminate. All right, illuminate. All right, it said to light. All right, it's a verb to light, to shine on. Okay, you go down, illumination. It says spiritual enlightenment. You see? spiritual enlightenment and see we didn't even know we was in the spiritual war okay we didn't know you know the only thing our people had a mindset towards was the civil rights and you know things of that sort but that's low level to the spiritual wickedness that's in high places man okay when you understand how these devils really operate man okay we have been spiritually enlightened and understanding who we are as a people okay we have become spiritually enlightened, okay, within the world, man, within this society, okay? And we have the light, okay? Now, 
Let's go here. Just to prove that it's, it's through what? Through precepts, man. When you go to Psalms 119. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 4. It said, Thou hast commanded, uh, nah, 104. Psalms 119, 104. All right, this is Psalms 119 and 104. It said, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. And that's another thing is we, you know, come into more understanding and righteousness. All right, we see, you know, the wickedness. See, one thing about the Bible, it exposes the wickedness of this society, man. Okay, really shines a light, all right, on the abominations that's happening within the earth, man. You know, this word is is, is conforming our perspective into a righteous perspective, and we begin to hate this place more and more, the society more and more. Okay, we hate every false way, man. You know, and Esau has made. A false way the norm he has made wickedness the norm okay this place is getting more and more bugged out <laughs> okay as we get more enlightened this place is going more into darkness man okay and that's how we know what path we should be taking man we're going away from the darkness and, and walking more towards light towards more clarity towards more understanding towards more enlightenment man you know, in the spirit, verse five, verse 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Okay? A, 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 a lamp unto my feet and your feet is used for what? Walking. Okay? Now you go into the Hebrew word walk. All right? It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Now you get this word path and we'll get that word walk as well. You know, because if you're in the, in darkness, okay, you don't know which way to walk. You don't know which way to go. You're just randomly moving, bumping into walls, okay? And that's the masses of our people still under their curse of groping in the noonday as blind men, okay? They don't know which way to go, okay? Niggas don't know what to do, man. Niggas still trying to drop mixtapes. Niggas still... You know, trying to be Frank Lucas, niggas, you know, still uh, uh, trying to fix, you know, the problem with economics. And, you know, niggas trying to get into politics, nigga, want to be a Republican. That's someone groping in the noonday, man. The nigga woman in, into witchcraft and, you know, nigga woman just out here getting BBLs. That's someone that's groping in the noonday. They don't have a clear path of where to go. Okay, they, they, they just randomly moving around and <laughs> bumping into everything, man. Okay, now you get this word. Let's see, path. Mm -mm. I think it's a root word because I know one means the rock. All right, well, if you go into path, pathway of a traveler, you know, and we're likening them to pilgrims, you know, the scripture likening us into pilgrims, okay, in the earth, okay, and we have the light, all right, and we're being guided through precepts as we travel on the path to salvation. Now, I want to get, look at this in Genesis, the fifth chapter, okay, when he spoke about Enoch's walk. All right, it's Genesis 5 and 24. Genesis 5 and 24 says, And Enoch walked with the Most High, okay? And he was not, for the Most High took him, because he was translated. But when it said Enoch walked, what does it mean? Okay. Enoch took a particular path. Okay, as you go into the Hebrew word, which is halak. Okay, it's one of the brothers' name down here in um, the Mississippi camp, halak. It says, okay, I'm going to jump down. 
It says to go, to walk, to come. I'm going to jump down to definition I. And it says to die, to live, manner of life. Okay, through these precepts, these precepts guide our manner of life. Because these are the instructions. Okay? Now, and, and, and as we apply the scriptures, okay, we see, you know, that this is the way to go. It, it's, it's making sense. We're not doing it just because we're told to do it. Like, now it's, make, it's clicking. Righteousness is clicking. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so let's um go from there. All right, the path of salvation has been lit up, man. Has been illuminated. Um, let's see. Yep. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 25, verse 4. It says, Show me thy ways, O Lord Yahweh. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Okay, so we know the way to salvation, man. We know to separate from the idolatry of this world. We know how to treat our fellow brothers in the truth, man. We even know how to treat those that are without, you know. We know, all right, what's required of us, man, is laboring and toiling in this work, you know, as believers, man. The women know, all right, the submissiveness and the order that they should come in, okay. These things are being made known. We know what names to call upon. Okay, we know to not to take this man's MOTB. You see, all these things have been made clear and plain unto us, man. All right, we know to stay faithful even unto death. Okay, because why? Salvation, um, the Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, has power over the death. See, we know these things, man. So it makes it clear on what we, ha on what we <clears throat> have to do. Okay, on what required of us, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Lord will you brothers. Alright, and you sisters will edify until next time I say shalom.